this video I want to share with you how you can add another field that you want to track for your daily in, intake. So in the food database you have a lot of fields here not just the calories, fat, protein, but you got sugar, fibers, cholesterol, vitamins, whatever you want. Let's say you want to start tracking your vitamin D. I'm just going to copy the name of the field, go over here to food input, right click somewhere, insert table columns to the left, replace, oh, didn't save it, take the header, replace it over here, take the formula from another location, vitamin D, all right, I guess it's missing some of them. Let's take something else. Let's take vitamin C, could be an issue with the database itself. All right, oh, that looks better. Okay, so this gives us values. Now, um, you could also add a target for the vitamin C, just like you have a target for the calories. So just copy the name over here and yeah you can put two or whatever you want go back here if you want to add it to the data add another column call it vitamin c target and you can use if you look up if you want or just immediately detect the um, amount um, if you want to add also to the table here on top for your week for today's summary so you can just take those should be the same name a1 targets because this one is only 295. So you can replace that with A through B. A through B. Okay, that'll work. And here you just need to change it from the carbs column to the vitamin C column. And that's also gonna work. The next thing you need to do is go to the tracker sheet First of all, click on data, refresh all. So we have that new field. Go ahead and copy this, the last pivot table and click once and you'll see the pivot tables or click show or if it's hidden, just click on show field list. And you need to take out the protein, protein target and income the vitamin C and vitamin C target. <coughs> and like before, oh, sorry, for the target, you should have an average, not a sum, because it's a number per day. And of course, you can take out this and take out this. The reason I have a space is it won't let me, um, because there's also already a field. And you can write here vitamin. And you can click anywhere on the table, insert, chart, and control F that, put it over here, remove field items. Uh, format legend, bottom. Oh, I see the target. You know what you need to do is click it again, pivot table, change chart type. I want to have a combo and click OK. Now it's going to look the same and just Format the line itself to one of these. Okay, and that'll look the same. And of course, you can add the data labels if you want. And for the header, 
click it again, design, add, where is it, chart title, title, sorry, and this could be daily, okay, and this would be controlled already with the slicer because you copied the pivot table. That's it. That's how you add another chart, track, another field. Have a good day.